Hello, my name is Walter Cruikshank, and I am the Acting Director of the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, a bureau within the U.S. Department of the Interior. Thank you for your interest in learning about the development of the National Outer Continental Shelf Oil and Gas Leasing Program. The Outer Continental Shelf consists of all the submerged lands lying seaward of state waters. Altogether, BOEM manages 1.7 billion acres on the Outer Continental Shelf, or OCS, which is equal to more than two-thirds of the total land area of the United States. BOEM's mission is to manage development of OCS energy and mineral resources in an economically and environmentally responsible way. This includes our three mission areas, offshore oil and gas, renewable energy, and marine minerals. Because protecting the environment while safely developing the nation's resources is a critical part of our mission, BOEM scientists contribute important information through environmental studies and analysis. Today, our focus is on the National OCS Oil and Gas Leasing Program. The OCS Lands Act authorizes the Secretary of the Interior to lease portions of the OCS for oil and gas development. The Act requires the completion of a multi-step, multi-year process of analysis and public consultation before the Secretary may approve a new national program. On April 28, 2017, as part of the America First Energy Policy, President Trump issued an executive order which directed BOEM to develop a new national program for 2019 through 2024. BOEM initiated this process in July with the issuance of a request for information which provided the public an opportunity to comment on where on the OCS the Secretary should consider potential oil and gas leasing. As part of this process, BOEM analyzed all 26 planning areas on the OCS. This includes 11 planning areas offshore the continental United States and 15 offshore Alaska. Comments from the request for information were provided to the Secretary of the Interior to inform the development of his draft proposed program decision. The draft proposed program is the first of three proposals that BOEM will publish before the program will be finalized. The Secretary must weigh many factors in developing the program, including the nation's need for energy resources, potential environmental concerns, and possible adverse impacts on the coastal zone. Based on comments received from citizens, elected officials, tribes and others, as well as BOEM's analysis, the Secretary made his decision to consider the areas shown on this map for potential oil and gas leasing. Because oil and gas activities on the OCS may impact the environment, the economy, and numerous stakeholders, BOEM has also initiated a concurrent environmental review under the National Environmental Policy Act. This review will analyze the potential environmental effects of oil and gas activities in the areas that the Secretary is considering and is called the Draft Programmatic Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS. The Draft Programmatic EIS will be considered by the Secretary and published concurrently with the proposed program document, which is the second of three proposals. Your comments, combined with our analysis, will help the Secretary decide which areas to advance in the program. These decisions will ultimately be reflected in the third and final program proposal, the proposed final program and final programmatic EIS. Once these are published, the Secretary will wait at least 60 days to officially approve the program and finalize the record of decision. We need your help to improve our analysis as part of the draft programmatic EIS and your feedback on the draft proposed program, particularly when it comes to local issues that are relevant to you and your community. At BOEM, we have spent decades studying the ocean and know a lot about the OCS and the potential impacts of oil and gas development. But we are constantly seeking new information and we recognize that you have a lot to offer, especially local expertise, knowledge, and perspectives, and that's why it's so important that we get your input. The goal of the comment period and these meetings is to obtain the best science, research, and data available in order to develop a robust analysis. So what types of comments would be most helpful? Let us know if there are any specific concerns that you would like to see addressed. 
include details about the impacts to the ocean and coasts, plants, animals, and people. Or let us know if there are analyses, methodologies, or data sets that you would like to see BOEM incorporate. For example, say you're a fisherman who regularly visits a particular area on the coast and you observe an important species in this region. Let us know where and when this is. Comments that are information rich, specific, geographically focused, and supported by scientific evidence are most likely to have an impact on decision making. One well-supported comment is often more influential than a thousand form letters that only offer general support or opposition to the proposal. We value your input and your participation in the process is essential to the success of the program. So please, make sure to provide your comment at a public meeting, online at regulations.gov, or through the mail. If you want to stay up to date with the development of the National OCS program and programmatic EIS, or anything else we do at BOEM, visit boem.gov. Thank you again for taking the time to participate in this important process.